Hi, good morning. This is Uncle David reporting to you from the jungles of Guyana, this beautiful village of Parima and on the campus of Davis Indian Industrial College. Sixty years ago, missionaries came to this place and started a small training school. It was closed for many years and 30 years ago, 29 to 30 years ago, we had the opportunity when we moved to Guyana to reopen the school, build this campus again, and have many, many years of students having graduated. They're now nurses, some of them doctors, pilots, captains of villages, counselors, and church leaders. We are so grateful for what God has done. Well, we're going through a little bit difficult time. Uh, the problem being that we're lacking personnel. We had a special meeting with the village uh, council, with the villagers, with the families, uh, parents of students, and it went very well. They had some concerns which we addressed, and uh, we got basically a nice round of applause for the, for the suggested uh, actions that we're going to take to try to improve it. But there's a couple of things that we cannot control. We cannot control who is willing to come and work here. Since it is a volunteer position with only a small stipend, uh, it's not uh, to be able to make a lot of money. You have to basically be, have a missionary spirit to be able to come here. So uh, we are here only for this week. My wife and I will be coming back in November again. We're, we're coming down with our other mission pilot to bring down two airplanes here to Guyana. And then we'll be here for a while in November after our return trip from New Zealand. Uh, our camp meeting we're having there will be here during the month of February as well. During that time, we hope to address all these issues and to make everything run smoothly. Uh, we have a long waiting list of uh, students that want to apply. We're going to go have an executive committee. We're going to be deciding what we have to do. Our buildings need some repair. It's been operating as a day school, but now we're going to be operating uh, back to the way we started, as a dorm. All students will be dorm students, except with maybe a few exceptions for, cer for certain families that have younger students but are, uh, have a spiritual environment at home. And so we're going to be repairing the buildings. Yesterday I had a, I had a meeting with a full-time carpenter who used to uh, be on our staff and is going to be back on our executive committee again, Brother Shadrach, and he's going to be working full-time to be able to uh, work with the students in carpentry, fix up the buildings, build the dorms, uh, the, 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 the rooms, uh, build bunk beds, repair the boards, repair some foundations, and this year is going to be a good year. Uh, we are going to be needing a tractor, and I know the Lord will provide that tractor because our other tractor that was purchased about 20 years ago, it, it finally bit the dust. And so we're going to be looking to buy a tractor, fly it in, a small tractor, fly it in on one of the sky vans. The military has a sky van. Bring it in here, and then we're going to be able to go into the woods uh, miles from here, cut the trees down, cut the boards, and bring them back out uh, with the tractor. So we're looking forward. It's going to be a good year, but we're praying. Will you pray for us, please? If you're interested in, in being a missionary teacher, it doesn't. you don't have to have a teaching degree. You just have to know more than the students. You can be uh, a missionary student, a uh, university student. You can be a retired person. You can be somebody who just knows a lot of skills, industrial skills, mechanic, welding, home economics, uh, any of the uh, classes, English, uh, uh, we have the sciences and spiritual things like religion class, Bible class, uh, all those things will be needed, agriculture. If you are interested, please I'll put the phone number and contact information in this video so you can be able to do that. Thank you so much for considering and praying for Davis Indian Industrial College. More than a hundred years ago, God sent an angel to visit the captain of this village and, and to teach them about how to dress, what to eat, the seventh-day Sabbath. And the village followed, and they were blessed, and this has been a blessed village. But we need to hold the standard high. Thank you, God bless you, and we pray that you will be one of the ones that is able to come this year.